just now and then Give that chicken fat back to the chicken and don't be chicken again. Coach Polizzi was someone that had a knack for building something beyond a team. He sort of built extended family, I guess you could call it. Just the right personality that would make you want to work so hard that you could be the best that you could be, but yet it was so much fun. Competing at the college level is an awesome experience. and We tried to let them know that this isn't work, this is fun. And we tried to, to this day, I'm still in the business, and my motto hasn't changed. You know, enjoy the sport for what it is. Have a blast, have a great experience. Champions, Carroll College. He was very successful. Uh, we won two conference championships in football, and he was the offensive coordinator at those times, and uh, we had a very outstanding football team, and his track team is just phenomenal. I think the thing that, one of the things that was really helpful was the leadership from the administration, uh, Coach Mace in particular, that he let me do the things I needed to do to, th to grow the program. And he built a championship track team and he had no track facilities. I tell people five out of six years we had a four by one at nationals uh, without a facility and they kind of just look but you know th it, there, was, th there was a way to get it, things done and we had kids that bought in and and realized that you know facilities don't make it it's it's the the work ethic the uh, the dedication the, the the will to succeed uh, those are the important things. He had formed such a kind of like a dynasty with his teams that once you get that kind of a team going where we were winning conference titles, then it's easy to get people to come, track or no track. So like if he makes it fun, the kids are going to want to run for him or play ball for him or whatever he's sport he was coaching. They're going to want to be successful, not just for themselves, but for him because they don't want to let him down. It was absolutely amazing to be able to have fun with the friends and teammates that we had here and the chemistry that Coach Bleasy created and then still be able to go out and win. I, I was shocked to learn about this this award. Um, three of my ex-athletes went in cahoots with my wife and via Facebook and whatever my wife stole the letter and three of my athletes drove to Milton where I live on a Sunday afternoon and surprised me. And you know, that rocked my world um, to think that those kids at their stage in their careers in life would drive to hand deliver that letter. So realizing that you do make an impact, that, that was very special. I don't think there's anybody more that deserves this more than you. The impact that you've had on everybody, coaches, athletes, parents, uh, anybody that's, that's had the opportunity to kind of be in your path. Congratulations, well deserved. I want to say thank you and congratulations for getting inducted into the Carroll College Sports Hall of Fame. It, it drops you to your knees and you know maybe wow and maybe you do make a difference. I was his national champion twice and I mean I never would have thought I could accomplish something like that and it's just something that I can never pay him back for. Go you sick and bad, go away. Go you sick and bad, go. Alright, we're done. Go you chicken fat, go.